Well, we all know that India is a country in the Asian continent. Now, do you know that India is also sometimes called as a subcontinent? Do you know why? Well, this is because although India belongs to the continent of Asia, but here within the country, it has large and diverse geographical features like mountains, plains, plateaus, valleys, islands, beaches, etc. So, a wide variety of diverse geographical features are situated within the country of India. In short, India has all the features that a continent should have. But since it is a part of the Asian continent, therefore we call it as a subcontinent. Now, let us dig a little deeper into the geographical diversities of India. Well, the most remarkable physical feature or geographical feature of India is the northern mountains or the Himalayas. The beauty of this mountain range is mesmerizing. One can find many snow-capped mountain peaks. This is because the Himalayas are very tall. The climate of this region is pleasant and cool throughout the year. Now, trekking and skiing are some of the popular adventurous sports that are practiced here. And this region is home to some of the most amazing tourist spots in the world. Now, let us locate this region in map of India. Well, the northern mountains or the Himalayas is an arch-shaped chain of mountain range that is situated in the northernmost and northeastern part of the country. Now, this northern mountains forms the natural boundary of India because it separates India from its neighboring countries like Pakistan, Nepal, Bhutan, China, Bangladesh and Myanmar. So, the northern mountains form natural boundary or natural frontier of India and also India shares this physical feature with two of its neighboring countries like Nepal and Bhutan. See, this mountain range crosses through the countries of Nepal and Bhutan as well. Now, let us see how far does this mountain range extend. Well, the Himalayas extends for about 2,500 kilometers from Indus River in the east to Brahmaputra in the west. The Himalayas are the youngest and loftiest mountain range in the world. By youngest, I mean that it is newly formed because it is a young full mountain and by loftiest I mean that it is the tallest mountain range in the world. Now as we can see here this physical feature encompasses many states of India. Let's identify them. Well, the states and union territories that belong to the northern mountains are Jammu and Kashmir and Ladakh which are the two union territories and followed by we have several states namely Himachal Pradesh, Uttarakhand, Sikkim, West Bengal, a small portion of Bengal, Meghalaya, Anurachal Pradesh, Nagaland, Mizoram and Tripura. So here we find that the northern mountains comprises many northern states of India and northeastern states of India. Now, the word Himalaya in Sanskrit means a boat of snow and this mountain range is called so because this mountain range as we know is very tall and it comprises of many snow capped mountain peaks here. In fact, many important glaciers are also located in this northern mountains. So therefore, it is rightly known as the abode of snow because it remains covered with permanent ice and snow throughout the year. Now, northern mountains as we know is not a single mountain range but a collection of several mountain ranges. Specifically, three important mountain ranges that lie parallel to each other. Now, we shall discuss about these parallel mountain belts of the northern mountains. 
well the northernmost range of the northern mountains is known as the himadri or greater himalayas so see the northernmost range of the himalayas is the himadri range and this is the himadri range now the average elevation of himadri range is 6000 meters and this mountain range is the tallest among all the three and it also consists of the highest mountain peak in the world so as mentioned just now the highest mountain peak in the world that is the mount everest is located in the himadri range and it is located as we can see here in the country of nepal now apart from mount everest other important mountain peaks of the himadri range are mount kanchenjunga annapurna dhaulgiri and nanga parbat so these are the important mountain peaks of india and the average altitude of all these mountain peaks are very tall now the height of the important mountain peaks of the himadri range and that of the himalayas itself is not constant but it is changing every year by some inches or centimeter this is to say that the mountain range that is the himalayas is getting taller with every passing decade so the height of all the mountain peaks will be very different from 50 to 60 years from now and this happens because the himalayas are young full mountains well to know about young full mountains you can refer to the link present at the top left corner of your screen so we just discussed that the northernmost range of the northern mountains is known as the himadri range to the south of the himadri range lies the middle range of the himalayas which is known as himachal range or lesser himalayas the average elevation of the himachal range is 3000 to 4500 meters and we discussed that the average elevation of the himadri range is 6000 meters thus we can find that himachal range is comparatively shorter than the himadri range now himachal range consists of some of the important tourist spots and hill stations of india namely darjeeling shimla dalhousie mussoorie nainital and manali so these beautiful hill stations are located in the himachal range or the middle range of the himalayas and all these beautiful hill stations act as primary revenue generators for the people living in this region because they act as hot spots of tourism because of their amazing beauty and natural scape now the third range of the himalayas that lie to the south of himadri range is known as shivalik or outer himalayas the average elevation of this range is less than 1500 meters now from this figure we can very well understand that the shivalik range is the shortest among all the three ranges that is it is comparatively very short compared to the other two ranges of the himalayas that is himadri and the himachal range so before proceeding with our lesson let us try to answer this the southernmost range of the himalayas is known as himadri himachal shivalik or kalokuram well we just discussed that the southernmost range of the himalayas is known as yes shivalik range so i just now mentioned that shivalik range that is the southernmost range of the himalayas lie to the south of the middle himalayas or the himachal range now the shivalik range is separated from the lesser himalayas or himachal range 
by a broad stretch of longitudinal valleys and these longitudinal valleys that separate Shivalik from the Himachal range are known as dunes. Now, can you name one such classic dune of India? Well, Dehradun is one such valley lying between the Shivalik range and the Himachal range. It is specifically located in the state of Uttarakhand and this place is known for its natural beauty and amazing landscape. So, we discussed that the Himalayan range or the Himalayas is not just a single mountain range but a collection of three parallel mountain ranges and these mountain ranges are Himadri, Himachal and Shivalik. As we can see here, all these mountain range are parallel to each other and extend from west to east. Now, the average elevation of these mountain ranges decreases from north to south. This only means that the Himadri range is the tallest among three and the Shivalik range is the shortest. Now, as we can see in this map, the Himalayas also extends to the northeastern part of the country. And here it is known by a different name. Well, the eastward continuation of the Himalayas are collectively known as Purvachal Hills, where Purva means east and Achal means the Himachal range. So, the eastward stretch of the Himalayan range is known as Purvachal Hills. Now, this Purvachal Hills forms a natural boundary between Myanmar and India and river Brahmaputra passes through this Himalayan region. Now, this Purvachal Hills consists of several small hills. Let's name them. The several small hills that belong to the Purvachal Hills are Jaintia Hills, Khasi Hills, Patkaibam, Naga Hills, Mizo Hills and Garo Hills. So, we find that the eastward continuation of the Himalayas is a collection of several small hills and together they are known as Purvachal Hills. Now, the average elevation of Purvachal Hills is comparatively lower than that of the western stretch of the Himalayas. So, we learned that the northern mountains of the Himalayas extend over a wide region from Jammu and Kashmir in the east till the northeastern states, till the state of Tripura and Mizoram. Now, this entire region of the Himalayas can be separated or distinguished into several parts and they are demarcated by the rivers flowing through them. So now let us discuss about the regional or smaller divisions of the Himalayan range. Well, the part of the Himalayas that lies between river Indus and its tributary Satluj is known as Punjab Himalayas. So this part of the Himalayan region is known as Punjab Himalayas. Next, the part of the Himalayas lying between river Satluj and Kali river which is an important tributary of river Ganga is known as Kumayon Himalaya. So this is Kumayon Himalaya. Then the stretch of the Himalayas lying between Kali and Tista river that is this entire region is known as Nepal Himalaya because as we can see here this part mostly lies in the country of Nepal. The part of the Himalayas lying between Tista and the Hang rivers both of which are important tributaries of Brahmaputra is known as Assam Himalaya. So this entire range of Himalaya is known as Assam Himalayas. So these are the important regional divisions of Himalayas.
So in today's lesson, we discuss about an important physical division of India that is the northern mountain or the Himalayas. This mountain range is a collection of three parallel mountain ranges which is known as Himadri, Himachal and Shivalik range. We also discuss about the important states that belong to the Himalayan region. And finally, we discuss about the regional divisions of the Himalayas. So that's all about our lesson on the northern mountains or Himalayas. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel and hit the bell icon. You can also register for free at deltastep.com or download the Delta Step app to learn one to one with our amazing teachers or to get access to our 5000 amazing videos as per your school syllabus. Master each topic with our adaptive practice technology. Get million plus questions with step by step solutions and unlimited mock tests. Get all your doubt resolved instantly. Learn via games and win amazing prizes like playstations and ipads so at delta step learning is not just fun and easy but it's rewarding too so register for free now